Anderson. No, Mr. Radford. Welcome to the Viking Science Academy. We've talked about DNA and hopefully you remember the structure of DNA and the bases and how it's held together and how it's a double helix. Now we're going to talk about how DNA makes RNA and RNA makes all the proteins that make up living cells. But we're going to start with a couple quick facts about DNA. Okay. Did you know, Mr. Radford, I did not. Tell that me. in each cell, it, if you pull the DNA out, it's about two meters of DNA. And you have about 75 trillion cells. So if you take two times 75 trillion, it's about 400 times more the distance to go from the Earth to the Sun. That is just crazy. It's crazy, right? That is. So that's a lot of information. <laughs> yeah. And okay. it's all compacted into just, your nucleus inside every single cell. So, that's just yeah, crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. It would be about a library of a thousand books of single letters to read the code of it. But guess what? We've done it. Um, recently, mm -hmm. we uh, uh, mapped out the human genome. Yep. And so we know the letters from one end to the other. Now, do we know what all of them do? No, nope. not yet. <laughs> a lot but, of stuff that doesn't do anything. Yeah, there is. It's yeah. kind of well, yeah. that we know of. Yeah. yeah. And so, um, but once we know the map, then we can start reading the map, and mm -hmm. that's pretty exciting. Right now, it is. if you have kids or anything like that, you can get screened for hundreds of genetic disorders, things that are found on your DNA. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty cool. All right. All right. So for DNA to make RNA and RNA to make proteins, um, we saw in mitosis that the chromosomes made a copy of themselves. And so that means the DNA made a copy of themselves. And that's called replication, when you make a replicate. So let's talk about how DNA replicates. I say unwind and unzip. Okay, so okay. you got that double helix. It's going to unwind kind of flat it's like a ladder. Okay. And then it's just going to start unzipping. And it actually unzips in multiple sections, not just one way like a mm -hmm. zipper. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it is able to unzip because it uses an enzyme called helicase. We know enzymes make those kind of processes easier. Mm -hmm. And um, and then inside of the nucleus, there are free-floating nucleotides. So remember, nucleotide is a sugar, phosphate, and base. It's kind of a little building block. And so they're just kind of floating around. And when they see an opening, because we've unzipped those base pairs, and there's a T, and it's like, I really need an A, one of those free-floating nucleotides can come in and bond in with it. And then we can start building two strands of DNA from the single one. So here's kind of what that looks like. We can see it unzipping with the enzyme. We can see free-floating um, nucleotides coming in and bonding with them. They're going to bond on both sides. It's kind of they go different directions. There's a lot of other pretty complicated sciences, but the main idea is that it's going to unwind and unzip. Okay, this replication. We can wa watch a couple short clips of it here. Okay. This is a great picture showing it unwound, and we can see on the bottom starting um, to get back put together. Put back together, and there are. The exact copies. Yep, okay? exact. Just like the chromosome made an exact copy of itself to make a new yeah. cell. So we can see the two sides and bonds and ATC yeah. and G. And once we get to genetics, if there's any yeah. errors, even just one base pair that is off in that replication, things get messed up. You got so, gills or yes. something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some funny stuff. Sometimes it's good and sometimes it's, it's bad. So yeah. I love mutations. All right, so here's just another picture. This one shows the nucleotides kind of coming in and floating in. Mm -hmm. And there's all the nucleotides, ATC and G, all floating around. And we're still inside the nucleus is where this replication is occurring. Um, and we finish, and we've got two exact copies. You talked about mutations. There's a lot of different types of mutations um, where, like, one set can be copied twice or can be accidentally left out. Deletions, so, frame shifts. So, like, yeah. It creates all this kind of crazy So it's like stuff. if you're reading a sentence, this is kind of some examples on how it might change that sentence. So you could pause mm -hmm. this and kind of read through it. It's kind of funny to see how it mm -hmm. might change. All right, so... RNA is, is not DNA, but it's really similar. And RNA is what makes proteins. So DNA has to first make some RNA. And to make RNA, this also happens inside of the nucleus. And RNA is important because if we don't make proteins, we don't have any cells. RNA is named for its sugar, also ribose. ribose. And so RNA is ribonucleic acid. What three types of RNA are there? We've got mRNA, which is the messenger, mm -hmm. uh, tRNA is transfer, and rRNA is ribo, ribosomal. Okay, good. And so. messenger RNA looks like half of a DNA strand. It's like one side to the latter. Yep. It's a long yep. uh, strand. Transfer RNA kind of looks like this gigantic clover leaf or T, and it's going to basically kind of be one of those messenger RNAs. It's been bent into this kind of clover leaf shape. And then ribosomal RNA is just this gigantic blob on the ribosome that's kind of move around and do its job. So you can see those three types at the bottom there, messenger, transfer, and ribosomal. So 
In animals, we call this protein synthesis because we're made of proteins. And in plants, this is part of the process of yeah, photosynthesis. So um, there are three differences between DNA and RNA. What's the first one? We got a single strand. Okay, so instead of having the two sides, uh, base pairs, we, or the the sides there, there's only the one. Okay, okay. Uh, ribose uh, instead of the different sugar. Deoxy, okay, ribose. And you're a cell instead of thymine. Oh, so, so our base pairs, one of them has changed. Oh, so it's C and G, A and U. U, A U, um, A and U. Okay, all right. So um, those that messenger uh, RNA is built off of DNA. And so that DNA can unwind and zip and make a, a replication of itself, but it can also make RNA. And so also floating around inside of the nucleus are RNA nucleotides with a different sugar and uracil instead of thymine. So they can also come in and bond. And then when it unzips, it has a single strand that can then leave the nucleus and go out into the cytoplasm. And that's where messenger RNA heads to, and it starts connecting with transfer RNA. And the transfer RNA bends back upon itself, like I said. Mr. Penrod, stop by the main office at your convenience. Mr. Penrod, if you could stop by the main office at your convenience today. And it bends itself so it's got three of its bases kind of at the bottom. So let's say it's like A, U, and G. Mm -hmm. And it comes up and it matches up with three on the messenger RNA. So that could be A and U, G and C, U and A. And they match up like this. And this is called a codon. And it matches up like this. And it tells what kind of amino acid to bring in. Each combination of three brings in a different amino acid. We'll be doing this on the floor, so but you can kind of kind of see that transfer and it's transferring an amino acid in the correct order. And then ribosome RNA comes through and it takes all those amino acids and it connects them into this long chain. And when you have a long chain of amino acids, you have a protein. And we can build all kinds of stuff out of that. And the order of that chain tells us what type of protein and therefore what type of cell is going to be built. All right. Uh, we talked about RNA. Mm -hmm. um, so this is called transcription. When you uh, take DNA and you make RNA out of it, it's called transcription. So kind of like, um, I can't think of another word for transcription. but Reading a transcript. Reading a transcript. I don't, I don't exactly. It, it exactly. That's a good thing. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. You're just going to read the instructions and kind of make a copy, make a of, copy it. of it. Yep. Uh, so DNA makes RNA. That's transcription. And we'll see a copy of this in class and how it's lining up. And remember, a different sugar, B instead of T. And otherwise, it's exactly the same as RNA mm -hmm. making a copy. Mm -hmm. And um, oh, that session. And then we have translation. When I translate something, I'm taking it from one language to another. Mm -hmm. So in translation, it's taking it from the language of RNA into the language of proteins. So this is when those transfer RNAs come up and bond with the messenger RNAs, dragging an amino acid behind them, and then getting linked together to make a long protein chain. Uh, protein synthesis uh, is that long chain of them, and we have different names for those different amino acids. Um, and there's actually only so many combinations that our body has. And I kind of think of it as like ice cream scoops. Um, if you could make an ice cream cone, I don't know, a million scoops high, I could have like all strawberry in the very top one chocolate. You could have all strawberry in the very top one vanilla, and the possibility of combinations or are like crazy. endless. Yeah. 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 And so even mm -hmm. though let's say we only have 20 flavors of ice cream to choose from, it's almost an infinite number of combinations of ice cream cones that yeah. we can build. And that's kind of like a protein chain. There's only 20 different amino acids. But, but those 20 can make just, yeah, yeah tons crazy of different, amounts. Yeah, tons and that's why we have so many different features on our bodies. Yeah. Um, so we talked about how they're a codon. There's 64 different possibilities of those three letters. And this is a codon chart. We've got one of these in our book, and you'll have one of these. And you should be able to, if you know the codon, like let's say it's UCG, read this. And it's kind of like Battleship. You find the first letter, second letter, Going and then the down. third letter. Yep. And then you know which amino acid it is. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to do this in class. It's a little confusing, but now you kind of got the basics of it. And yep. Got by those the, notes down. Yeah, by the end, you'll be able to go from DNA to RNA to the correct protein. All right. Phew. All right. Yeah. Enjoy your Christmas. <laughs> Thanks for joining us on the Viking Science Academy. Okay.